Hello and welcome to another tutorial. So this is part of our open source tutorials and today we want to go through the steps to set up a local development environment. So this means you can check out the cables source code, the complete code, compile it on your local machine and run it. And you can make changes to the code and basically develop cables as we do. So to do this, we go to the docs and there is a uh, first of all we will be using the cable standalone so there's a whole uh, category here about the standalone and then there's a category about developing cables which is also in the standalone so um, we will run the local environment using the standalone which is also called electron sometimes because electron is basically the framework that cables uses to run locally. So Electron is basically a Chrome browser without the whole Google stuff and without the whole user interface. So it's basically, um, you can just put your own HTML and JavaScript in there and then it will just show that. So for example, Discord or Slack uh, are very well known apps that are built on Electron. So this is a, a development framework for building offline browser based programs. Um, okay, so let's do this. So um, for this, so I will do this on uh, um, on a Mac, um, but this should completely be the same on Linux. Uh, it's basically on Windows. It's basically also the same. So there's a little section here about how to set it up on Windows. So on Windows, you don't have a nice terminal by default. So um, we, we, if you know about this kind of stuff, then it should be no problem for you. If you don't, you can always use Visual Studio Code. So this is an editor which also brings its own terminal. But um, yeah, so okay, let's let's do this uh, now on the Mac. So here's my terminal, and we just go through those steps here. Um, so first of all, you need to install Git. So I already installed it. So I think it's already there in macOS nowadays. So you can enter Git and then if you see not an error message, but this kind of stuff, then you have it installed. Um, and then it says we should clone the cables dev repository. So for this, I just go into my dev folder. So this is where I develop all my stuff and make a new folder. Uh, um, tutorial, whatever. So uh, go in there. So we have an empty tutorial. So now I will just copy this git clone uh, command here and I will run it. And um, that was fast. So this now created a directory called cables dev. So change into the checked out directory cd cables dev. So, uh, and then you can see there are a bunch of scripts and a bunch of directories, but that's not, uh, uh, we will dive into that later. So uh, continue below. So we go here, you have to install the node uh, version manager. Um, so this makes sure we all use the same node version. So node is the JavaScript uh, environment that's running in Chrome and you can also run it on your computer locally and we use it to build um, cables, basically. So you have to install that and this makes sure that we all use the same node version because there are, sometimes there are big differences. Um, and I also already did that, but yeah, you go to that website and it gives you a um, tutorial about that. So after that, you should be able to run this without an error and it just uh, tells you the version of NVM. Um, so if that all works, we want to run this little shell script here, install local. So uh, we do this by entering dot slash install local. And then this will take some time. So this will check out all our uh, repositories. So cables is split into multiple repositories. Uh, for simpler or like for more convenient development. So one repository is for the whole editor and the user interface. Then there's a repository just for the Electron stuff. Then there's a repository for all the core stuff. So this is basically the cables core that runs without the user interface. For example, if you export something, then you only get like the core and not the 
the editor, the user interface. And the core also includes all um, core operators. So all operators that you see uh, on this page, basically. Um, so it will just check out those uh, repositories and um, uh, it will install the required node version if you don't have that. Then it will check out all the repositories. So this is what, what was happening there. And then it will install all dependencies. So this is all um, node modules that we use. And then it will run npm run build. So this will run, like this will build cables for the first time so that you, in the best case, you have an executable that you can run. So all that, all that happened now. So um, we can scroll up here and we see there's no real error message. So nothing really big red happened there. It looks really good. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so now we should be able to run node uh, minus minus version. And then we have the node version 20, uh, node version 20. And um, yeah, if not, then you have to do something. So now we have more directories than before. So now we have cables. This is the core, uh, as I said before. Then we have cables electron. This is all the stuff related to electron. The cables UI, this is the editor, the, the user interface. Then we have docs. Um, this is basically those all those docs. Um, and then we have uh, node modules, which is installed node modules and shared, which is some code that is shared between repositories. So that's the whole uh, cables development environment, basically. So what do we do with this? So first of all, we should now be able to change to cables electron and run npm run start. So this will launch electron for the first time. So it works out of the box. So uh, let me open this again. Um, so now we ran um, cables locally from our compiled version. Uh, where is the welcome bin? And you can also check the this welcome tab always opens when you open cables and it will tell you Electron standalone development version. So if you download it, it will show you have uh, which version you downloaded, but now you compiled it, like customly compiled it, so it doesn't really have a, a version number, but you, you can see it here. So, um, yeah, so we ran cables from our own new compiled version here. And you can just use it uh, as you would always like. You should all have all, all most operators, not the extensions, but uh, about, we will talk about this later. Um, so, great. So let's say you like you installed this and then a lot of stuff happened a few weeks uh, went by and you can run it again, but you want to update it right to the newest version of cables. You can do this by um, this command update repo. So this will like pull all repositories that you that you use here and it will um, get the newest version. And then, so you see, I, I just installed it, so there's no new versions, but um, there is basically changes every day in, in uh, many repositories here. So then you can get the newest version. Okay, so um, great. So now let's have a little look into how, how we basically develop cables. And for this, um, I will use I will show you uh, Visual Studio Code. So this is Visual Studio Code. Um, and in Visual Studio Code, you can uh, uh, select open workspace from file. So now I go to my dev folder and my tutorial folder and I go in here and then you see there's the dev cables code workspace. So this is basically a workspace file for Visual Studio Code, and we can just open this, and then um, you see everything that we saw before is in here. So there's this core directory, there's the UI directory, and there's the docs directory, and so on. And now we can um, browse. So you can 
browse through all the files. So for example, the UI, um, you see there's fonts, there's HTML, there's, there's the templates for all the dialogues and cables and all this kind of stuff. Um, then there is icons, then there's SCSS, which is basically the, the style sheets for cables. And then there's source, so the source is where the magic happens. So this is all the JavaScript code. So um, yeah, you, you can see them all and, and make changes to them here. So let's make some really simple change uh, just for, for showing it. Um, so I will make a change to um, the SCSS. So SCSS is basically a CSS, but with the more convenient stuff so you can basically combine multiple CSS files into one and you have some helping convenience uh, syntax um, stuff. So what I want to do is like, I want to add like a little border um, to the body um, of cables itself. So um, as I mentioned before, this is uh, handy on Windows uh, for sure, but it's also handy on on Macer, so I can create a new terminal here, and then I can in my editor without changing the windows. I can I can do stuff. So now I I'm I'm already in the right directory here, so I uh, can also run cables from here basically. So I will just change to the electron folder again, and just stay and uh, uh, execute npm run start to start electron again. So now you will see nothing changed so our i expect there's a, like a red border uh, on the on the body element of this this editor but there is nothing here this is because we did not rebuild cables um, so after each change we have to so the, this the whole application has to be built again and um, this would be really annoying to to execute this all the time so um, there's also a script there. So this you can find later on in the documentation under using standalone to develop cables, basically. So there's some explanation about those uh, run commands. Um, but the most convenient one is uh, this watch standalone, which is also shown after you install, use the local install, it will also be shown to you um, that this is the most convenient one. Okay, so for this, I uh, I have to go to sorry to tutorial um, to the root directory to the cables dev directory, and then I will type npm run, run watch standalone, and this will watch for changes. So um, when I save this file, you see something happens, right? Um, so when I save again you see there's starting sus. So this is this, this style sheet compiler um, that, that is doing some work. So uh, great, so it did something. So now I can, I can again change to cables electron and type in npm run start to start the electron uh, thing again. And now you see this red border here, right? Um, now, it is really annoying to restart the electron thing all the time. Um, but in most cases, you don't need to do this, except if you change something in the electron code uh, itself, you can just uh, make a change. You see the change is uh, happening and it's recompiled. And now I can go into the electron and press Command R like you would do in a browser to reload the page. So I can reload the page and then you see the new color here. So um, this is really easy and th this is really important to us that we can make changes super quick, right? right? So I just press Command R and then I see the same page with the change. So it doesn't even take a second to, to do this. Um, so that's, that's really handy. And this is the same if you change JavaScript files. Um, if you change Electron stuff, you have to restart Electron again. But all this HTML and JavaScript stuff, you can just uh, th this is just built automatically by this uh, npm run uh, watch standalone and then you can just reload. And that's basically the whole setup. Um, yeah, if you have any questions,
come to the Discord or go to the to the GitHub discussions and let us know if if it worked for you. Um, if you have questions on Windows, etc. If it doesn't work, I will also make a tutorial on Windows, I guess, uh, if the, if there are too many problems, but it should work um, out of the box. Um, yeah, try it out. Uh, let us know and. Um, send us those pull requests. Thank you very much. Bye bye.